been a while again, but I have been doing some crafting and uh, I noticed that it's been about a year since I've done a journal. And uh, so I got the itch to make one and then uh, that led to a second one as well. But anyway, this one, um, this one is called Tea for Two and uh, it's a round journal. And uh, as you can see in the front, there's a beautiful little couple um, having their tea. And um, I've embroidered um, the picture to give it a little bit of sparkle and added these uh, handmade flowers, these rosettes here. And there's lots of little details, some fringe and all different kinds of laces and snippets that I've used, um, some wedding dress appliques and some dangles. So you can see that it's uh, quite a, a elaborate. Um, and the first page, again, um, I've gotten all these um, images from Pinterest and uh, for me, searching for the images is almost as fun as uh, making uh, the journal. Um, I spend a lot of time trying to find just the right uh, photos that would uh, uh, be suitable for the journal. And again, here um, we have this lovely little couple with their uh, tea tray set here, having a tea. And um, again, having used um, all these different uh, snippets from garments and... Um, um, dresses and you know all from my stash and I've collected like I've said over the years so I have quite a bit of variety and the best part of that is that I don't always have to go out and 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 buy something specifically for um, for the journals or projects that I make the only problem with that is um, it becomes an addiction and um, going to thrift shops and vintage shops um, you know, I go quite often and as a result, you end up buying a lot of stuff that uh, uh, you keep in the drawers and um, it's really hard to, to use everything up. But I love doing it. It's my pleasure in life. And um, so uh, hopefully I can uh, get a chance to use whatever I have. I'll give you a better look there. And also, um, I embellish the, uh, the little dangles on it. I always try to add a little something uh, that uh, you know complements the uh, the page and as you can see here um, I've added or uh, well, maybe that's on the next page I'll, I'll show you then um, this one again um, a little bit of bling um, on this one I've uh, uh, pleated and um, um, added these uh, three-dimensional pieces to it to enrich the uh, you know the page um, and then this little tool with the polka dots on it, which is just a, a slight um, uh, color in it, a little pink. So I love the combination of the pink and the cream. That has to be my favorite. And then I've repeated the, uh, the tool dangles with the pearl um, at the bottom of the page here, added this little pink lace. So uh, I don't know if you'll pick it up on the uh, camera, but it um, it really adds to the picture, um, and which I also uh, hand uh, hand uh, uh, painted, uh, added a little bit of color on her dress on that one. Oh, and um, this too, um, you can see that the uh, pink lace returns on the other side. And again, using some uh, scalloped pieces and then just enhancing the, uh, the pieces with some pearls. Um, it really gives it a, a beautiful uh, a beautiful look and feel to it. Added these little uh, multiple dangles of uh, tassels at the bottom. And um, this one says, but first tea. I like to add little banners on it that relates to the journal. It gives it that little bit of interest to it. So that's that page. Again, I, I do a lot of the, uh, the thread embroidery. Um, because with the black and white pictures, I find they, um, they kind of pale um, when, you, uh, when you use them on the page. So just to bring it out a little bit and give it some, um, some prettiness, if you use a little bit of silver and gold thread, I find when you use actual pearls, um, the, um, it's out of dimension, it's out of um, the, the proper uh, um, you know, dimension for it. So using the, uh, the threads works out much better for me. And then the center page, I just added the um, this inner spine, um, this little snippet with this pink button to bring out the pink on this page. And then this page here, again, another little couple. Uh, and um, once again, adding some wedding dress uh, material and fabrics, 
these pretty little uh, chiffon flowers and snippets of all kinds, some pearls. And I had this doily that had this um, these little uh, silver sequins um, embroidered on the edge. And I've added that on the uh, as a bottom layer. And it, again, it brings out a lot of sparkle to it. I really like that. And the next page, again, it says, You are my cup of tea. I uh, had this um, little uh, ruffle, pleated ruffle um, with the wire that I got from a wedding dress. And uh, this was really common, um, you know, uh, back in the 70s and 80s. Um, a lot of the, um, the collars were done with these particular pieces. So I just um, <clears throat> embroidered, uh, sorry, dyed it in uh, avocado to bring out a little pink. And then I added these little uh, cut out uh, flowers that I got from a piece of fabric from a blouse. Added the little uh, pearls in the center and uh, some dangles and um, that's that page there. Now the final page, um, rather than do a pocket, I, um, I did a little um, a teapot um, that I've sewn right on to the, uh, the page and um, embellished it with this little uh, gold uh, piece here. And then inside there's a little uh, uh, tea bag and uh, the tea bag says, you and me and a cup of tea. So that goes right inside there. And it just adds a bit of fun to it. Um, it was really nice to, to make this and add some pearls to it. And that's that page. And then the, um, the back is the title of the book, Tea for Two. And I've added uh, some ruffles and uh, uh, Aurora Borealis trim to the, uh, the spine. And then this, uh, this dangle, I have all little fabric teacups that I've dangled from it as well. And uh, I thought that was kind of cute to add that. So anyway, I love romance and um, there's nothing better than tea for two. So thanks for watching ladies, I hope you like it. And um, hope to see you again soon with another project. Bye for now.